to my modest way, I have come ready for my treatment to the various consequences project. I've undertaken a, 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 a lot of projects in this my Victoria district. And you are you can confirm that I invited you about three times to commission a lot of projects including all of the main effort. Now as a duty owner, I will try to continue and I also promise that I am going to take my life. I want to call on those people of the state, particularly my brother and brother, to join me so that we can make this thing right. I know the limits of and work of all this in this country. I know it requires often to go into the government. I am very sad. I am going to continue to be loyal to my government. Let me see this opportunity to thank our dear brothers, the speaker, the members of the State House of Singapore. I said it in the morning, how it happens in the morning, I realized a speech in the National Assembly that this gave us the courage. If we have a United Nation, which will be a little bit of a problem. As a British government, inshallah, we are going to open to our world, work together with you as a team to make this our state a great state. To the entire group of the process, I want to assure you that our way of education, I promise that inshallah, I will work here and there. And I hope, as I said earlier, the government of the show will be done so that the work can also be done. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, today we are gathered here for an effort making event in the analysis of the political history of our dear Stars of Bristol. Following the impeachment of the immediate first deputy governor by the State House of Assembly, it became imperative for us to fill in a vacancy as provided by the Section 191, subsection 3 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. The person who shall occupy the position of deputy governor shall be an able lieutenant a loyal, credible, and politically astute and relevant. This is the reason why, after a wide range of cons consultations across the broad political spectrum of the state, it was agreed that distinguished Senator Hassan Mohammed Gusau shall be nominated for the position of the Speaker of the State, to which he was just sworn in following the confirmation of the State House of Assembly today. We are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guiding us to arrive at this critical decision at the crucial point in our political history. Going by the fifth degree of the new deputy governor, most especially his excellent record of political accomplishment, his excellent interpersonal relationship, his accessibility and closeness to his political constituency, I am confident that His Excellency Senator Hassan Mohammed Nasiha Buso is just the right person for this amiable question. <laughs> but also someone that will deploy his vast experience in our relentless pursuit of building a new Zambora state. While I congratulate you for attaining this speech, let me remind you that you are taking over this onerous responsibility at a time when the protest more than any time before need the service of competent and capable hands to join ranks to address our merit of challenges. As you know, the most formidable challenge before us is that of more than a decade, all boundary tree, almost 26 years since the creation of the protest, we are still confronted with many issues of development that require planning and proper channeling of resources to address part from the blueprint growing by the development of the state during the first administration of Jibril Balaya Hubu. 
The State Department has virtually remained without roadmap. This is what informs our decision to inaugurate a committee to draw a development plan that will guide the development of the state in the next 25 years. As my lieutenant, your role in the implementation of the plan and other government programs is vital. As a deputy governor, your role is defined by the Constitution is to assist the government in discharging his functions. You are to also far from other responsibility as might be delegated to you by the government. You shall therefore be ready for all the challenges associated with your new responsibility as a deputy governor. At this juncture, let me commend the State House of Assembly for staying true to the cause of democracy at the, at the critical moment in our political journey. As true Democrats, they acted swiftly within the boundaries of the law to salvage our democracy and stop the state from the incompetence, insubordination, and the carefree attitude of the first immediate occupant of the Office of Deputy Government. I call on the good people of our dear state to extend their usual prayer, support, and cooperation to the just sworn in Deputy Governor for him to perform as expected. As you assume office, I pray to Allah to guide you in the course of discharging all the functions with ease and a higher sense of responsibility. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.